Hello and welcome back to my Cheat Engine tutorial series. In step 7 we're dealing with code injection and I'll show you how to do that as well as introduce the auto assembler to where we can uh, create our own assembly scripts. Alright so um, our task in step 7 is to make our health increase by 2 every time the button is clicked. By default it, crease, it decreases by 1. Uh, so we need to modify that to where each time we hit the button it increases by 2 instead. Uh, fairly easy. First of all we just need to find our value so let's start with 93 on a 4 byte scan and we'll hit this again. We'll search 92. Alright so what we want to do is find out what writes to this address and I'll go ahead and attach my debugger here and let's hit this again and we can see that an instruction pops up and we're subtracting uh, with this SUB. Let's go ahead and show the disassembler and I'll explain this a little bit more. Okay, To put this in standard English, uh, this is a register. This is the offset of that register. Now the easiest way that I can think of to explain registers and offset, let's imagine this register is a folder and inside of that folder we have all these different files. If I was to go to tools and dissect data structures uh, for this particular address, I'm not sure if I can do it from here or not, let's see. So we'll imagine that this address is actually um, the folder and then we can see all these different offsets here, right? and these kind of like represent files in a folder so that's not technically accurate but as an analogy that's that's pretty close okay uh, in straight up English uh, we uh, take an operand here and we're moving the value into this address here at this offset alright so in plain English we're subtracting one from offset 478 of the address stored in EBX. Uh, there are two ways that we can go about uh, resolving this and completing our task in step seven. One is we can simply double click on this and we can change subtract to add and we could change one to two. All right, so if we do that, we can see that now our health is going up and it's increasing by two and our next button lit up and essentially that solved the problem. However, this isn't very beneficial. You wouldn't do this in a game because you would have to come into this address every time and modify it. Wouldn't it be easy if we could just turn it on and off? And that's what I'll show you how to do. So let me undo what I did. Let me change this back to subtract and we're going to change this back to one. And as soon as I hit okay, we're back to decreasing the value by one. So let's start back at 100. If I click on that address and I could do control A, we open up the auto assemble window. And we can just install or install insert a standard uh, cheat table framework and then we're going to do a code injection. So here's our code and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this from the original code as you can see here and we have this new mem which is new memory that has been allocated to us to use for our new code and it obviously says place your code here so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to modify it to say add two. Now as it stands, it's going to read these instructions in order. So as soon as it does my new memory, it's going to jump down to my original code and subtract it anyway. So what we need to do is jump over this and we can do that by just simply typing jump JMP exit, which is this label down here. All right. I won't get too involved in what labels and symbols are and allocating memory, but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, uh, we're just going to get through step seven. Uh, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to add 2 to our value and after we do that we're going to jump over this and we're going to jump straight to the exit which whenever you do return here that's essentially the end of the script okay now we could hit execute but that's just going to do the same thing that we did before and instead we're going to click on file and assign to the current cheat table All right we're going to close this we can close the memory viewer we can stop our debugger and close that as well and without this box checked, we can see that we're still decreasing by one. But whenever I click the box, 
now we are increasing by two. All right, that's one way to do this. Now, another way that we could do it is by, let me do a new scan. We'll search for 111, 110, and we're going to find what writes to the address. Again, we can see that our instruction is here. We'll just show disassembler, and I'm going to control A. Typically, whenever I'm doing an auto assembly script, I'll do an array of bytes injection. And I'll go ahead and accept all the defaults here. Now you can see over here these bytes. These bytes are lined up in an array. Now oftentimes it's easier to do an array of bytes than it is to hunt down pointers and things like that. And this can just help find your cheat code a little bit easier each time the game is started. So we see we have 83 a, B, 7, 8, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And if we look over here, we have the same array of bytes. Okay, we can use this as well, only the framework is just a little bit different. Um, instead of having original code, we just have code, and then we can inject here. Uh, essentially, it would work the same way, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. So uh, we can do it here as well. In a more complex game, if you have problems doing a standard code injection, use array of bytes, and it'll probably fix your problem. So um, this is how you, uh, well, this is basically a, a introduction, an introduction to uh, code injection. So if you have any questions, Please let me know below and I'll see you in the next video.